everybody, it's Raindrops17, and I thought that for Father's Day special, I would have my dad Hello. and cousin Don with us to tell some funny family stories. So I'm going to go first, and this one is about my Uncle John and his son Dan. And they went fly fishing, and they didn't have enough room in the car. So my cousin Dan stuck the end of the fly rod out the window, but then he rolled it up and broke the fly rod. Now, my Uncle John got very mad and said, Daniel, do not ever, 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 ever do that ever again, ever for your entire life. He got mad, and that's my first one. Now, Dad, why don't you go ahead and tell the story of your awesome Nuggets game scenario. One time, myself and my mother and my brothers, Brian and Scott, went to a Denver Nuggets game, and I had some not-so-good food before the game. I had Taco Bell, and it wasn't very good. And during the Nuggets game, I was flatulating profusely, and I could not help myself. <laughs> And my brother, Brian, got so disgusted and embarrassed because people were actually leaving behind me because it was so stinky that Brian would kept looking at me saying, dude, I can't believe you, dude. And Brian even got up and, and got away from me. But my mother, God bless her, stayed right next to me through thick and thin, and we enjoyed the Nuggets game. However, the people behind us and around us were not appreciative of the green fog that was being emitted by my gluteus maximus. That's it. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> okay, we're going to do one more, and then your turn for okay. one of yours. All right, so your brother Scott fell out of the car. Tell us about that. We had an old red Studebaker, and it was very old, okay. and there was a lot of people in the car all the time because there was a lot of us. And Eight kids. We were in the car once, and Mom made a turn, and the door flew open, and Scott plopped on <laughs> out of there. brother. And um, we weren't going very fast, but I told Mom just to keep going. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you, did you really? Yes. <laughs> so and your brother falls out of the car and say, just keep going. Yes. We don't like him anyway. <laughs> okay. Another mouth to feed. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, somebody lost their shoe. Tell us about that. Okay. Well, my dad was having me and my brother Larry cut the lawn. And... My brother wasn't doing a very good job, and he was kind of getting getting on my dad's nerves. And they got into a little bit of argument. So my dad chased my brother and went to kick him, and his shoe came off, and we never did find it. <laughs> we don't know where it went. It in the outer space or something. And that's the end of that story. Now, my father got us stuck on a place that, if you live in Colorado, you might know as Hageman Pass. Explain, please. Uh, I was trying to take a shortcut in the road. The map didn't say it was four-wheel drive, and we were Blame driving up the map. The, we were, Blame the map. Uh, we were driving up the road trying to get to the spot, and <coughs> snow bank after snow bank, I kept going, and we were reaching near the summit, and I knew we were close to going down the other side. And there was a snow drift there that was probably about four feet high. And I told my wife and my daughter that we were going to be able to plow through this one. And I got the car high centered. And we had to spend the night there. And I had to walk four and a half miles down the road to get help. Yep. And then get a tow. Yep. And I got in trouble. <laughs> um, okay, so. Cousin Don, you always ask your wife, how did you sleep? And how does she answer? How do you answer? On my back. Okay. So, next time somebody asks you, how did you sleep? Just say, on my back, because you probably did. Um, all right, next one. Somebody drove their car into your deck. Yes, that is a story that is a true story. I, me and my brother were living together in a house on 8100 Explorer Calle. Somebody was not... They had too much to drink and got behind the wheel of a vehicle. They drove through the fence. They took down the supports of the deck. The deck then ripped down and fell down. 
and he almost ran over the dog, my dog Derby, and Derby was very upset and was, was about ready to have a heart attack. And Scott was in the house, and he was very upset and anxious, and the guy tried to leave, and it got really bad, and then the neighbors came over and helped out. But the bottom line was is that everybody was safe. Okay, um, okay, so I'm going to tell this one, and where should we put it? Here? Right here. Um, <clears throat> so, we were driving, where was the cow herd? Um, so up somewhere by Basalt. Yeah, somewhere by Basalt, and, um, I was pretty little, and I was there with my cousin, Gina, and we were driving, and there were, like, cows surrounding our car, and, um, and there was a cowboy on a horse, and he said, just keep driving, and they'll move. So, we did. And they were so close, you could roll down the window and, like, touch them. Like, they were surrounding our car. And it was very awesome. Um, this is probably going to be our last story. You broke my Uncle Brian's collarbone. Well, we were kids, probably around seven or eight. And apparently... We were wrestling in the basement, and Brian yeah. got hurt, and he quit wrestling, and he went upstairs and told his mom that his shoulder hurt. Well, we didn't think anything of it, me and the other brothers, or cousins, and so then it turns out that he had broke, I had broke his collarbone. But the funny thing is, I didn't know about it until we were like in our 50s that I had broke his collarbone, and I felt bad, <laughs> but uh, it was a long time ago. Thank you very much, Emily, for raindrops, for your wonderful video. Bottom line is, happy Father's Day. Give your dad a hug. He deserves it. He's awesome. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.